What's up guys, it's your boy Zion and I'm bringing you another Destiny video. In this one, there's some fucking awesome news that is in Destiny. But it goes ahead and goes along with the future of Destiny, which I just did a video talking about Destiny 2 and what I hope they do with it. Um, if you miss it, I'll put a thing right about now so you can go check it out. However, Activision bought MLG. Now, those of you guys who aren't familiar, MLG is the biggest... Major League Gaming is like the biggest eSport provider. Um, it's basically like a, a service that provides matches and tournaments and stuff where you can do MLG owns game battles and um, things like that where it's competitive eSports. It's basically the biggest league of competitive eSports ever. So um, Activision just bought it straight up like just was like yeah you're mine now um so activision one of the backers slash developers of um destiny bought mlg which is a giant esport league that has things such as call of duty and um other games so what this means for the future of destiny as well as the future of esports is now activision controls basically competitive gaming activision can say whose game is competitive and whose game is not and set up tournaments for games that prior to this mlg's um mlg's like council or deciding board had said were too unstable for competitive games such as destiny so there might be destiny esports coming soon since Activision just purchased MLG. Another thing is they fucking stole MLG. I believe the number is right around 40 plus million um, for the entire Major League Gaming and everything that it owns. Um, they completely bought them out for about 40, 50 million dollars. Now I know that's a shit ton of money, but when you look at it, Amazon bought Twitch for almost a billion dollars. If, if I'm not absolutely right, I don't know the absolute figure, but they bought fucking Twitch, a streaming service, for upwards of half a, half a billion dollars. It was over 500 million that they spent on fucking Twitch. And you're talking about the biggest eSport league just got bought for less than 100 million. That's ridiculous. They fucking stole MLG. But... It goes ahead and it, it shows that developers are actually looking at both casters, um, whether it's live streamers, YouTube content creators, um, professionals. There are a lot of casters who do professional um, gaming, such as Optic Nature, any of the Optic um, Complexity phase, any of those gamers who are in very, very recognizable, very, very... Um, high popularity teams that compete at the highest level in any sport has a huge following. They typically garnish a lot of views just because they play at the highest level of skill required in the game. It, it's something that's magical to watch. You see things where people get excited watching a Call of Duty match, a fucking search and destroy that can be like over a million dollars is riding on that game, which is ridiculous. And esports have become a giant pastime, a big thing people are making money off of, and it's something that people like watching because it has tension, it has drama, it's exciting, and it's something we can all relate to as gamers. So it's really fucking awesome to see Activision buying MLG because hmm? now these big casters who have been contracted game into game. MLG can renegotiate and either be casters on MLG or go ahead and just drop their contract and go back to being independent on Twitch which goes ahead and funnels more money into Twitch and YouTube if they don't have contracts with um, MLG and if they go ahead and do their own thing so it's a very cyclical process in which basically we're going to get more people coming to services we use such as Twitch and YouTube and bringing those fan bases with them to expose them to new games as well as keep them as viewers on their own channels. But Destiny might actually get a competitive esport as Crucible, or even do like maybe speed runs of fucking Oryx would be fucking awesome to see. But it's all something that Activision has set up now by making it so they own MLG, and it shows that developers are looking at 
this content because they understand huge names such as Nadeshot, who has over a million subscribers on YouTube and has just the biggest following on Twitch as he does on YouTube. Nadeshot and other competitive players bring a lot of notice to games. If you can get Optic Nadeshot to play your game on his stream, guaranteed you probably sell a pretty high amount of games based off Optic Nadeshot touching it. Having his name associated with it brings a lot of publicity whether good or bad, where there's really no bad publicity for a game, it brings a lot of notoriety to that game and makes people buy it, which I could see them setting this up for Destiny 2, giving it to higher streamers than what they did with the original Destiny DLC launches, such as House of Wolves, but it'll be fucking awesome. I can't wait to see what Activision does. Hopefully they don't screw the pooch and fucking ruin everything that MLG worked for a build, but... I, I can't see them really doing that. Esports aren't going anywhere. Competitive gaming isn't going anywhere. It's become a huge pastime and almost garnishes as many views as, say, the Super Bowl for certain games. So I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. But thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, a comment, a favorite, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Peace.